Good morning, everybody, and welcome back. Welcome back to the wettest channel in the internet. But you know what? We're gonna call it the loudest because this is what a Saturday Miami morning sounds like here at Barracan Night. Luckily for us, we don't hear none of this noise inside the cabin. And if you're wondering what time it is, I think it's about 8.45, maybe 9 o'clock. So I guess the party people are here are up and early to party. I'm pretty sure I could guess everybody's question on their mind. Does that bother me? Well, you guys already know I'm a DJ already, so music doesn't bother me. It's just sometimes when it's too loud and too early in the morning, it does. And I guess these guys are really early in the morning and ready to party because they have a really cool balloon setup on the yacht. And just like that, really quick, Birkin Island started to get filled with boats. Because the thing is, the best part of the island is on the northwest side. And that area is limited to about 20 boats. So people come early in the morning to find a spot. Or some people do like us and come Friday night and camp out. You just have to be careful with the friendly raccoons because they will go into your stuff. so far so good the weather's looking pretty good so we decided to head over to the sandbar but the low tide caught me and made my engines dig into the sand but luckily I trimmed it up and a few boating buddies gave me a push and we got right out And no, we didn't leave because of the loud music. We left because we were gonna meet up with some buddies at the sandbar and they were already there. And they were there pretty early. So early, it didn't give us time to eat breakfast, but it's okay, we'll eat breakfast at the sandbar. I wasn't really surprised there was a lot of people already at the sandbar and finally they made it we made it and we tied up together I'm losing my strength because it's about 12 o'clock now and uh, we haven't had no breakfast or lunch so what's going on here so while we get situated to get hopefully our late breakfast or lunch whatever it is as long as it's food I'm gonna go ahead and uh, see what everybody's up to here at the sandbar. Because you're gonna notice it's windy, but it's not stopping the people from coming over and having some fun in the sun. pleasure and it's always great to meet the people that watch the channel in person around the sandbar or out in the street it doesn't matter 
But you know what matters? My hunger that's getting bigger. So I decided to go back to the boat and see uh, what is the food situation looks like. And what do I find? Fresquito, hoping a sexy chef. Big mama in la casa making some eggs for lunch. I was trying to get some free cheese, but it wasn't working. So I guess we're having some naan, eggs, cheese, and tomato for breakfast or lunch, whatever it is. And I told you so, they smell food, they come. And here we go having another million dollar breakfast, but at the sample. And while I was enjoying my breakfast, uh, Ricky pulled up and tied up next to us. So now we got the three musketeers hanging out here on this windy, semi-cloudy Saturday. But all those conditions don't matter to me because to me it still feels good as long as I'm on the water. And you know what else Ricky brought? Yup, you see him there, three of them. He brought some jet skis. And if you're a long time subscriber to the channel, you know I had two of my own and they got stolen. And when I think of that, it gets me really mad because my kids would have been enjoying them right now. And thanks to Ricky, they did ride them. But now I decided to jump on one and take a little cruise and refresh my jet ski skills. And by the way, if you're planning to ride your jet ski to the sandbar, remember, all the way around the sandbar is idle. The only place you can go fast is either north of the channel from the sandbar or south of the channel of the sandbar and you can always go out the cut and jump some waves in the inlet that is if you could get pretty brave because the inlet swells can get up to six feet tall so we headed to the channel and took off but it was kind of hard driving with the cameras so what we did was we turned around left the cameras and kept on riding and the ride felt really good because if you guys ever ridden a motorcycle it's the same thing except for you're riding in water and it feels really good because you never build up a sweat when you get hot just jump in the water and you cool off so we rode about 30 minutes or so and then headed back and this is really tempting because now i feel like buying jet skis but the question is i'm trying to get a smaller boat for the boys but now the choices are getting hard jet ski or boat And as soon as we got back, we noticed that those 30 minutes, the sandbar got really packed. So we decided to go and hang out with our good friends, Aquatic Flavor, because they're always selling good food and playing good music. And you know that good music always brings good people to have some fun. Sun. And just in case you didn't know, this is The Sandbar Life, here at Hallover Sandbar, Miami. That was funny he had no clue who i was but his wife did because i think she's the one that purchased it but thank you both for the love and support for the channel and the way of life sandbar life oh well, like you can see the day turned out great no more cloudy weather and nothing but sunshine and fun in the sun. But today we got a special tour. Giovanni took me aboard his aquatic flavor to the kitchen and met the chef and all the cool people making the food taste great.
Well, I don't know about you, but I love fried chicken wings and they look really good. And we went upstairs and got to meet really cool people that they're filming a TV show at the sandbar. And the DJ. Yep, the DJ is what keeps the party going here at the sandbar. Too bad I can't play the music, but they play all types from English to Spanish just to keep you dancing. And if you come here to have some fun, make sure to ask him to play Sandbar Life. And how cool is that? Saw a few people wearing Fresco Channel and Sandbar Life merchandise. Thank you guys for love and support. And if you guys want to purchase some on your own, you can always go online to www.frescochannel.com and there you can get Fresco Channel merchandise and Sandbar Life. And remember to follow us on Instagram for daily posts and maybe another live stream on the weekend. And I would like to thank Grimal Joyeria here locally in Miami for sponsoring Fresco Channel water shirts to give out to the fans. And if you got one, make sure to post it on Instagram and tag Fresco Channel and I'll give you a shout out. And if you guys are enjoying this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and if it's your first time watching the channel, make sure to subscribe and turn on all notifications because we have more videos coming up in the future. This is one place that everybody comes to have fun in the sun, from kids to adults to the pets. And Aquatic Flavors makes it even better with good food and good music. And on my way back, I ran into this really cool fan of the channel. Thank you, thank you, thank you. The whole family on the sandbar having fun with the Jesse. But now it's time to head back to the boat because it is Mother's Day weekend. And I would like to congratulate all mothers doing a great job raising the kids because without you, we wouldn't be here today. And also, I can't forget 
the mom of my kids, and the star of the channel, and the world's best chef, and number one wife. You can never go wrong with a good place, good people, good times, and good memories. And when you least thought things wouldn't get any better, it does because now it's time to eat again. And today we got a special chef doing what time is it? What time is it? Yep, Sasha's time. Chef Fausto. But I think today we have a special day because we have alternating chefs. Actually, Joel is helping Fausto out on the barbecue. Or maybe he's so hungry he wanted more food. I don't know. And just in case if you're wondering, no, I did not eat any sausage. Not this time. And if you're looking over, there's a hamburgers, but there's some beef, some turkey. And guess what I'm eating? The turkey one. And guess what? We didn't forget the buns, not this time. So I think I'm doing pretty good because all this beef around me and I'm not eating that. So while some of us enjoy turkey burgers and potato chips and homemade salad, we're gonna see lax here on the hydro and take a look around one more time before we leave. Because as far as I see, there's still a lot of people here enjoying this beautiful day with this beautiful weather. It doesn't matter if you get here early or late, just as long as you get here and have some fun in the sun. And remember, you could come in a kayak, in a canoe, a jet ski, a jet boat, on a dinghy, on a flats boat, on a center console, on a pontoon, a sports cruiser, a yacht, and a mega yacht. It doesn't matter. Just get here to have some fun. And if you don't have any of those, just hitch a ride with a friend that has a boat. guys like I say in some videos every good story has its end and if you guys haven't seen the previous video of the day before make sure you check it out so you guys can see how a Miami Friday looks like out on the water with unpredictable Miami weather. Hey.